Hello, and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And, oh my goodness, what are we going to ramble? Oh my, Star Wars again. Now, granted, I, um, this is like my 19th video, and I've talked about other things besides Star Wars. Um, unlike some other YouTubers out there, Nothing against those YouTubers. Some of them I find quite entertaining. But they do videos on Star Wars every single day. Sometimes more than one a day. Well, it's gotten to the point where I'm just tired. <laughs> because I recently did a video to where um, there was a news article that came out from Collider saying that uh, Disney slash Lucasfilm decided that they were going to put um, all of their uh, side stories, like uh, a Star Wars story, ideas on hold because of the poor performance of Solo. And they just wanted to focus on Episode Nine. Now, in that video, I was saying that that I sort of understood that, but it sort of didn't make make any sense to me because they would have already had their staff and and whoever already hired for episode nine. So it's like, you know, when you have all your your you know your resources allocated for a particular movie, saying oh we want to focus all of our efforts on episode nine, makes it sound like oh, we only had half of our resources over it, and we had the other half over here on these separate stories where, well, now we can just take them all from here and move them over here. Well, I thought you already had what you needed for Episode Nine. Is That, that was what I was kind of going into in the, in the other... Um, we're talking about episodes, but in the other video that, that, that I made. So that just sounded kind of weird that they wanted to focus their attention on Episode Nine. But also because Solo has already come out, the next movie would be Episode Nine because they do like um, the Skywalker uh, movie, and then they do like a story, you know, a, a side story in between. So they already did the side story. So the next movie would be the next Skywalker uh, saga film. So the uh, oh, we're just going to focus. I would think they would already be focused on it. So that just seemed like a weird comment to me. Um, so the, the whole thing of, well, we're just going to set stuff to the side, I thought was kind of a weird thing too, because it's like, well, you're not going to be doing a, another movie until after Episode Nine anyway. So I just, I don't know, the whole thing just seemed kind of weird. And now there's a now there's an article that's out uh, I think it was from ABC. I think it came out from ABC News. Um, I don't know for sure. I don't have the link. I don't much care. <laughs> you can just do do. There's so many videos out there. You'll I'm sure you'll come across it. But basically, they're saying, "Oh no, no!" Like Disney's coming out saying, "No, no, no, no. We we still have plans to do uh other Star Wars movies. We're not going to cancel them." So now there's a whole lot of confusion out there, you know. Uh, are they going to do uh, other movies, or are they not going to do movies? Um, there is still this thing about the Ryan Johnson trilogy, where they are moving forward with that with the Ryan Johnson trilogy, whether people want it, want it or not. Well, I'm like, go ahead. Maybe it'll be good, you know. Maybe, like I was kind of saying in the other video, with um, The Last Jedi had potential. All right? It wasn't all bad. It had elements that were good. 
and it had possibilities. And, and, I, and I think Ryan Johnson was making some brave attempts, but where those attempts and those opportunities were at, he fell on his face. One of those opportunities, I feel, is that Ray could have turned to the dark side. I mean, it, he was setting it up because there was that, there was that um, cave, that dark cave, nothing like Empire Strikes Back, right? Where she climbed into it. Luke told her not to. She climbed in there um, and, and saw the mirror of herself. Um, and there was the whole thing with Kylo Ren where you started to get the impression of, well, maybe Kylo's neither good or bad. You know, it, I got the impression, well, Kylo's not good or bad. He's just, he's kind of in his own thing. He's, he's defined a whole new meaning of gray. You know, it, it's, uh, he's not a Jedi. He's not a Sith. He's just, he's his own thing. He's, he's creating his own, his, his own identity. Which is why I liked him a lot better in, in The Last Jedi. And, you know, where he was... And that was one of the things I kind of liked, where he was says, you know, let the past be the past, kill it if you have to. I know a lot of people kind of use that, saying, oh, now Disney's saying kill the, you know, the, uh, the original trilogy and the prequels. And, well, that's not quite what I got out of it. Mainly what I got out of it was Kylo was saying, who cares about the Jedi? Who cares about the Sith? There's a whole new way to do things. And and Kylo was, was trying to say, you and me, we can, we can redefine this whole thing. And I thought it was interesting. I thought it was a very interesting take. And I thought Rey was going to go for it. And... And I kind of thought that she would go that direction and maybe Kylo might have second thoughts and maybe not start going down that path. So, and maybe he would, I don't know. But what I thought was that maybe episode nine would have to do with not so much trying to redeem Kylo Ren, but trying to redeem Ray. Now that would have been something to look forward to, I think. Instead, we get all Miss Perfect Ray, who was just as good in the beginning as she is at the end of Last Jedi. So we're at a point where, again, what is there to look forward to in Episode Nine, and? But anyway, I'm, I'm kind of going off topic. So, yeah, so Disney says that they're going to do these, still do these Ryan Johnson trilogies. And, well, no, nothing, nothing personal against Ryan Johnson. All right. I know a lot of people are hating on him right now, um, which, uh, you know what? Maybe you guys need to kind of lay off on that. I mean, he's just a guy. I mean, he's just a person who's doing a job. Um, he tried to do the movie, uh, what he thought, what he thought the, the best that he could. And I'm not trying to defend him because I didn't really like, like The Last Jedi, but I like to be a glass is half full type of person. And I like to see good things from people rather than bad things from people. So... I definitely think constructive criticism is good. I don't think there's anything wrong with constructive criticism and saying, hey, The Last Jedi is not good. Here's why, and here's what could have made it better. But I think it's totally not cool to be trashing Ryan Johnson just to trash Ryan Johnson. All right? I mean... He's a person, just like me, just like you. I mean, would you want to be trashed? Would you want to be uh, trolled? I don't think you would be. I know I wouldn't want to be. So, you know, 
lay off on the stuff. I mean, it's not an easy life being in that line of work, I'm sure. As far as his movie is concerned, maybe since he won't have the restriction of the Skywalker, you know, clan, and that he'll be able to do his own thing, I mean, completely his own thing with his own characters... Maybe it'll be a lot better. You know, it's kind of like... It's kind of like you're making a painting. And you want to do this masterpiece. And someone says, Alright, this is great. Here are some crayons. Oh, but we can only give you 24. <laughs> but I need I need that box of 64 crayons. Sorry, man, Here's you only get 24. Alright? I almost think that Ryan Johnson was trying to make his masterpiece, but only had 24 crayons to do it with. So, <laughs> that's kind of what I think. So, I think in some cases, he missed the boat. In other cases, maybe he wasn't allowed to take it in a direction he wanted to take it. I don't know. I, I don't know everything that goes on behind the scenes. Um... I don't really care at this point. Um, I, I, all I know is I'm just really burned from the whole Star Wars thing. Um, maybe things will be better. And maybe, maybe his Star Wars trilogy will be will blow everyone out of the water because uh, he won't have that restriction of a set of twenty four crayons. Maybe because this will be his own trilogy with his own characters and his own little galaxy um, that he'll be able to paint this thing with uh, oils and, you know, oil paint and neon lights and everything, you know. Maybe it'll be fantastic. Who knows? Um, all I know is that whether it's those movies or whether it's episode nine... I am not going to be seeing them full price in the theater. I will be waiting for the dollar theater. I paid full price for Force Awakens. I thought I overpaid because it's it just seemed like a rehash of A New Hope. It was a rehash of New Hope. It didn't seem like it. It was. Although it did have promise... And I understood why it was what it was, because it was trying to rebuild the momentum of Star Wars. I got that. Um, and then The Last Jedi was like a train wreck. I watched it, and it, you know, it's kind of like a train. It's like, whoa, wow. And then you walk away from it. You're like, wow, man, how many people got hurt? <laughs> you know? It's like, you first you're like, like wow, man, this is... This is amazing but ouch you know type of thing that's kind of how how i felt felt with last jedi it was like amazing at first and then i started thinking about it and realizing not so much and and i had paid full price watched it in 3d and i i overpaid i honestly overpaid and not only did that just burn me on star wars but it burned me on movies period um, I'm at a point now where I just don't want to pay full price for movies anymore. I will just wait for the dollar theater now. Uh, movies are expensive as they are. Um, for a family of three, you're paying upwards of 30 to $40. Um, not including drinks or any snacks. It's expensive. And if you want to try to watch something in 3D, my goodness, it, it just it just gets expensive. It's nuts. You know, and um, I just, you know, I really don't feel like paying that much for a movie anymore. Um, I'd rather just, you know, I we have a we have a dollar theater not too far from from where we live and okay, you know, the 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 sound is is, you know, not fantastic, but it's stereo, and it, I think it's surround. I, I hear stuff happening behind and in front, so it it sounds good to me. You know, it's not 
loud. It's not immersive. But then again, at those theaters that have that loud, immersive sound, that's not exactly good for your ears either. You, you realize that? That's actually damaging to your ears. That stuff is really loud. Um, so, you know, really, maybe not going to a, uh, a first-run movie at one of these expensive theaters may not be such a great idea. I don't know. I, that really your call. Me, I just I'll just wait for a dollar theater. I mean, it's still on a big screen. Maybe it's it's not okay. The picture may not be perfect. Who cares? I mean, you know, when I start watching the movie, I'm not going to sit there and look at every detail of it. You know, oh, I just saw a little speck of dust. No, I'm going to be watching what's going. If I'm doing that, if I'm sitting there analyzing specks of dust, on, you know, on the movie then obviously the movie is not that great if I'm sitting there looking at something else. <laughs> right? If the movie's good and I'm into the movie, I'm not going to pay attention to any of the... I'm not going to pay attention to the, uh, oh, wow, that's super crystal clear. Or, uh, or uh, oh, I could tell this was shot on film. There's some film grain on there. I ain't going to look at that. I'm, I'm going to watch the movie and enjoy it, you know, for the story. Um, and likewise, you know, the sound, I mean... The sound is is decent at the Dollar Theater, and it's not overly loud um, to where I'm going to walk out of there thinking like I got out of a rock concert or something. Um, but anyway, getting back to this whole, whole Star Wars bit, there's all this news. It's all turning into fake news. That's that, And that's what I'm getting at with this whole video is... Star Wars to me now is just fake news. Because I've never seen anything come out of Hollywood as much as I've as much news coming out of Hollywood as I've seen with Star Wars. Where there's something every single day. Can there possibly be something a bit of piece of news every single possible day? Where there's something a little different. Oh, it's Monday. We have new exciting news about Star Wars. Oh, look, it's Tuesday. We have new exciting news about Star Wars. Episode 9 is not going to come out for, what is it, June? We're at the end of June. It's not going to come out until next year. We have July, August, September, October, November, December. So we got six months of this year. And another 12 months after that. And then you have 30 to 31 days. Let's not think about the 28 or whatever in February. And there's going to be videos on all these other channels of exciting news about Star Wars. Every single day. Sometimes more than once a day. Really? Seriously? I don't know about you, but I'm a little tired. I mean, I'm getting to point. I think it, a lot of this stuff it's get, it's made up. I'm beginning to think it's made up. Um, I think I think it's it's poking, it's prodding the fans, it's riling them up. It's uh, you know what's what's going on now? There's the like news like Kylo always oh, getting a new outfit, always oh, getting a new lightsaber. Oh, there's going to be a new Sith. Oh, Snoke is coming back. Oh, Luke's coming back. Oh, Yoda's going to be in it. Oh, we're going to see all the Jedi ghosts at the end of it. Oh, it's going to end on the boo like it began on the boo. Um, uh, Kylo's going to go see the grave of his uh, grandmother, um, Padme. And uh, it goes on and on and on. We're going to answer all the questions from Episode 7 uh, in a series of flashbacks and, and it just it keeps changing and, and, and all of this and that and, and ah! I'm tired <laughs> I don't care anymore <laughs> as far as I'm concerned episode 9 is going to be whatever it's going to be it's, it's going to be good it's going to suck it, it's, it's just going to be whatever it's going to be and I don't I just I don't flat out care what news comes out from Lucasfilm anymore. Assuming that news even comes out of Lucasfilm. 
I'm beginning to think that a lot of this news that's circulating all over the internet is a bunch of made up stuff just to, just to get people to watch videos, to read news articles, to sit there and to, it's like feeding the troll. That, that's, that's what I think. That's how I feel. Maybe I'm wrong. All right. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't work at loose film. I don't know what's going on. Um, maybe there is news coming out every single day. <laughs> maybe there's a little bird there at Lucasfilm that flies away and tells his buddies, flies back and get you know and gets his little news. And you know, maybe there is. I don't know. But you know what? I, I I don't care anymore. It's it's just it's you know it, it. There's other things to talk about. There's other things to talk about. Um. And as far as these series of videos that I've got, uh, you know, there there are other things that I that I that I cover that I that I find a heck of a lot more interesting than than Star Wars. Um. So definitely, you know, take a look at the other videos that I've got. I just heck, I if something comes to my mind, I'll make a video of it. If I come across an article that I see that I think is like, oh wow, I should talk about that. I'll make a video about it. And it could just be anything. It could be news articles, just something that comes to my mind. Um, maybe if I see a movie and I just want to talk about it, I'll make a video on it. Um, so, like Solo, for example. At this moment, it's not at the Dollar Theater yet. When it does come out, I am going to see it. I'm not, expecting the, I'm not expecting a lot out of it, but I do want to see it. When I do see it, I'll make a video. I'll let you guys know what I thought. I don't think it's going to be a long video, but I'll let you know. What, I'll let you know what, what what I thought about it. I'll give you my honest opinion about it. Um, as far as it being worth it or not, well, hell, I'm only going to pay a buck. So, <laughs> I mean, it's only a. <laughs> On Tuesdays, it's only a buck, so I don't think I'm going to overpay uh, by paying a buck. So if someone said, well, was it worth a buck? Sure. I can tell you right now, I'm sure it's worth a buck. Yeah, it's a movie. I'm sure it'll be, I'm sure it'll be fun. I'm sure it'll be a good time. Um, I might have underpaid a dollar, but will it be worth a buck? I'm sure it will be. I'm, I'm sure it will be. Yeah. But anyway... Yeah, as far as all the news coming out of Star Wars, man, I'm just, I'm just so tired of it. What do you think? What do you think? I do you, do you follow all this stuff? Do you like following this stuff? Do you care whether or not the news is fake or whether it's true, or do you just like the drama behind it? And you just are you sitting back with with your bag of popcorn and, man, this is entertaining. Um, and this is better than the movies themselves. <laughs> I mean, are you watching all this drama going on on people's videos and reading all the comments and like, man, this is more entertaining than the movies. <laughs> hey, man, let me know in the comments. I'm let me know what you think about all this stuff. I, I'm, I'm really interested. Um, other than that, hey, you know, I got other videos and they're not all Star Wars. And just to prove it. I'm going to put those up on the screen, okay? None of these videos that you see are Star Wars, so uh, click on them and uh, checking them out. Check, checking them out. Check them out. Check them out. Uh, other than that, thanks for tuning in. Click like, click subscribe. I love you. See you later.